um, John and I came to St. Matthew's about a year after the Brockies arrived. And um, we were sitting in, in church that day. I can, I can tell you exactly where we were sitting. I can't tell you what the sermon was about. But I do remember when I heard him say, he was talking about his sister and going to the mall, and she said, Chad, are you going to go with or what? And I looked at my husband, and I said, he's Midwestern, we're staying. <laughs> Nobody says, are you going to go with? <laughs> right? And I told him that afterwards. That was back in the day when Chad used to actually greet people as they were leaving the church service. <laughs> and, the, and he says, I've seen you guys here a couple times. And I said, yeah, and we're staying now because you're Midwestern, aren't you? He says, yeah, Minneapolis. So. And John and I are, too, because we say pop. <laughs> That's how we ended up at St. Matthew's. Um, my best story about my darling little friend Lori over here is that she and I have a, a, a love for knocking gifts over and country music. So we were at a country music event um, not too long ago, and we got to meet Kenny Chesney in person. She knows where this is going. And... I was standing in front of Lori and I met Kenny and I said a few words to him, thanks so much, you're great, blah, blah, blah. And then I stepped aside so that Lori could step up and shake Kenny Chesney's hand and what did she say? Good job. <laughs> <laughs> she was so starstruck, but it was so special. I mean, he does do a good job, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was so special. I will never forget it because I wanted to laugh so hard, but this was my friend. I didn't want to embarrass her. So now what am I doing? <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, next is uh, that I was at the baby shower when Lori was pregnant with Lydia. Lydia was born exactly four weeks before Mia, our granddaughter. And Mia and Lydia have literally been besties since the day of their birth, right? And they have grown up together in this church with a lot of people looking after them. Not just their parents and not just their grandparents. You can turn around at any moment and see whoever's kids running amok, and somebody's got their eye on them, right? Uh, Tanzania. I didn't go the first couple times, and Chad said to me, are you going to go to Africa or what? And I said, you know what? I'm really afraid of how it's going to change my life. And he goes, oh yeah, it will. And I went, and it did. And I will never be the same. I have these people to thank for making me a better person, certainly making me a better Christian, making me a better friend, and uh, just really able to show a lot of love in any way that I can. And I think that we can all have those similar stories, and I just hope that the speakers here today have represented the stories that the rest of you all have. There are weddings and baptisms and and funerals, and I know that you all are right there with us. And uh, thanks, you guys. We will miss you. We will never forget you. You will be remembered fondly and often. <laughs>